15 minutes ago. Oh. No. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> We're fine. Well, nice. Excellent, good guys. Thank you, you for again. being on time. I'm sorry about last night. I really tried to connect, but it was impossible. The energy came like around 9.30. So unfortunately, my data was not working properly. So we will um, reschedule the class, all right? As you know, vamos a repetir esa clase. So most likely, one of the Fridays that you have uh, off, eso sí lo vamos a tener eh, ocupado because we're going to um, compensate the class that we didn't finish yesterday. Anyways, I met you, maybe all of you. Creo que a todos casi que los conocí. Solo me quedo Ever. Ahí está Ever. Hello, Ever. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, Ever. It was not my, my intention. I didn't mean to, uh, you know, to disconnect the call, to disconnect the video call. So I'm so sorry about that. Creo que solo usted me quedó pendiente. Si no me equivoco, aunque está Ernesto, no me recuerdo haberlo, haberlo saludado ayer. We didn't remember you. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I have it here. Sí, aquí lo tengo, ya. Yeah. Ah, pues sí. Solo me quedó Ever. Ok, Ever, so let me uh, let us know about yourself y comenzamos la clase, ok? Ok, well, hello, everyone. My name is... Ever Ernesto Portillo. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Santa Ana and I live in Santa Ana too. Um, a student. I'm, stu I'm studying mechatronic engineering at ITCA in Santa Tecla. And I also work in the day and study at night. All and right. That's all. that's all. Okay. And what happens to your camera? Uh, I'm not in my house, teacher, so I cannot. You are not at home right now. Yeah, no, sorry, but no, I'm gonna no be here way. if you wanna talk to me. I'm gonna talk with you. Okay, so be attentively uh, listening because probably we will ask you some questions for you to participate as the rest. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, nice guys. Is there anyone that I didn't uh, that didn't introduce his him or herself yesterday. Maybe Luis. Maybe. No es Luis el que nos quedó también que ayer no lo vi conectado. Hello, Luis. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm pretty good. Thank you. Pretty good. All right. Tell us about yourself and try to turn on the camera or what happens to your camera right now? Uh, I'm not able to to open the, the turn camera. Turn it on. All right. To are you busy or are you working? I'm working. Okay, hey, no problem. So if you if you're able to turn it on tomorrow, it will be nice. Do you hear me? Yes, right? Yes, I can hear you. All right, nice. I can hear you much better with my headsets because it's raining. As you know, we're in winter uh, season, yeah. so that is why we we have some issues uh, with the um, sometimes with the internet, sometimes with the connection, of course, and obviously with the audio. All right. So yes. nice, guys. So thank you, guys, for being here on time. And uh, we're going to start a class. I hope you have uh studied or you have reviewed the um no, there is another person here connecting i hope that you have reviewed the topic that we will talk about all right Oyenter Sullivan, who's that who's that is that a ghost he's a new one he's a new one right i don't remember him but I don't, I have never heard about Oyente as a name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so he's going to listen to us only. So no problem. Um, 
So uh, what are we going to talk about today, guys? Tell me, do you remember? Have you studied something about it? You're in pre-advanced, right? Relative pronouns. Yeah. Relative pronouns, all right. They're, they're really, really easy. We have many of them. We have relative pronouns of place, of, um, of uh, what? The uh, time. But we're going to talk only about who or that and also which, because it's very common to use it as well. As you know, that can be used for um, people or things, but we also have which, all right? Which is used to talk about things, all right? To, to talk about objects, to talk about anything related not to a person, all right? And let me see the chat. Oh, what happens or what happens, Sullivan? <laughs> what happens? What happens? Okay. Uh, do you see my screen? No, not yet, right? I'm not sharing anything at this time. So let me just gallery. Come on, Jonathan. Don't fall asleep. We're just starting the class. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still working. Oh, uh, really? You know, yeah. today I woke up at 5 a.m. I am not used to getting up too uh, too early. And unfortunately, I had to take my, my dog, my little dog, my little puppy, uh, again to the hospital. And unfortunately, oh. he's really, really, really bad. And I feel very, very bad as well. He's been I'm sick. sorry to hear that. The last, yeah, since the last week. And today, I well, I didn't have any option to leave him hospitalized in the Chivo Pet. Because <laughs> supposedly uh -huh. it's a little cheaper, right? Supposedly. But anyways, you have to buy some medicines. And it's not that cheap, but it's, it's good. I mean, uh, comparing to the private hospitals or um, vets or clinics, it's a little bit uh, cheaper, but you need to have a uh, chivo <laughs> anyways. All yeah, right? I hope it's getting better. I hope, I, I, I wish you guys to, um, to ask for my little puppy. Uh, his name is, um, have you heard of Scooby-Doo? Yes. Since my name is Vilma, so I named him after the, the little, the little <laughs> dog which is uh, Scrappy. Scrappy do. Scrappy do, yes. Scrappy. And he's very, very bad. He has anemia, but very severe anemia. Mm -hmm. And he needs a, like a blood trans, um, trans, um, how, how do you call this? Transfusion, transfusion. yeah, transfusion, transfusion, yeah. So, and it's kind of complicated to do it, you know, he's like one month and a half. So, well, I am praying to God to, to have him with me very soon because besides the time, it's also money, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying yes. to, yeah, give me a second speaker. I don't, know. I don't know how I can change this. Anyways, we're going to start. I remember I, I already introduced myself. If you don't remember me, and if you don't remember who you're talking to or who's your teacher, this is me. Okay, this is Vilma Landa Verde. So it's a pleasure, guys, to have you here. I heard you yesterday. Your English is really, really good. Of course, we always uh, have something new to learn, right? So that's what we're going we're going to to do today. We're going to learn something else. Okay, so. Most most of the time, I will ask you, because of the time, remember, you're a big group. I mean, it's a huge group because it's more than 10 people. So sometimes it's a little complex to have everybody participating. But I hope that you raise your hand so I give you the, the chance to, to do it. Of course, as you know, Brandy is my assistant. And uh, she's always like paying attention to every little detail. 
And uh, well, I know her and her English is really, really good as well as many of yours, all right? So uh, what is the lesson objective, guys? Yeah, her name is Brandy. Say hello, Brandy, so everybody can see you. Le voy a quitar un, le voy a quitar un rapidito para que conozcan a Brandy, okay? Hello, uh -huh. Brandy. Yeah. We were talking yesterday. Exactly, yeah. but if, if you don't remember her, that's her, okay? She loves cats. She loves pets as well. So, um, anyways, we're going to, to start the class, okay? So, the relative pronouns, as you said, we already mentioned about uh, uh, when we use who. Um, in that case, it's actually to talk about people, not for a uh, not for things, right? Just for people, uh, either uh, singular or plural, okay? And what is a relative pronoun, guys? Relative pronouns. This is some, uh, this is, there is an I missing here. Mm -hmm. What, what is a relative pronoun? If you can tell me if you have any idea, I know this is just like kind of review because these are topics that you already studied before in previous um models no i didn't see them. you didn't all right so anyone we have some teachers here ayer me dijeron algunos que eran teachers dos personas sé que son teachers aquí it's not here well i have let me see i remember there was it's not here imagínense no está aquí I remember her name is, um, I think it's Elizabeth, yeah, but she's not here yet. Anyways, guys, remember, we will have class. I'm not sure if we will have class this coming Friday. That's what I hope. Yo espero que sea este Friday porque muchos de los que viven en San Salvador, you know that we, we will have kind of vacations, right? Because the, the car, the the streets will be blocked due to the um, the, uh, the closure of the uh, Olympic Games. So I hope that you have time. And I am going to ask if, uh, if it's possible, of course, it's not my decision, to um, recover the class this coming Friday. Of course, because I'm not sure if I will be able to do it by the last Friday, since gonna be on the twenty eighth, right? We were supposed we're supposed to finish on the twenty seventh. We could, because we only have classes from Monday to Thursday, but due to the fact that I couldn't finish my class yesterday, we will recover that class, and I hope that this Friday is not going to be the one, right? But most likely this coming seventh or 14th or uh, the 21st, most likely we're going to recover the class. Okay, so coming back to the point, who knows what a relative pronoun is? Nadie vio, nadie vio los videos, chicos. No lo han visto todavía. Bye. Yes, I watch. I have this uh, say the relative pronoun is a pronoun that makes a relative clause. Uh -huh. An example is the word which in the sentence Mm -hmm. This is the house which Jack built, for example. It's an example, exactly. The thing is that it's something that we just um, clarify or we give extra information, right? For example, we have a sentence like, I live in Suchitoto, I live in a beautiful city, Suchitoto. So you can say, I have, I will live in a beautiful city, which is Suchitoto. So that's a relative pronoun. It's just to... Uh, clarify or to give extra information or more detailed information about what we're talking about. Okay. Um, so that's it. Let's, if you haven't watched the video, because I know many of you don't have enough time, we will watch it right now. And I hope the next time you can uh, watch the videos in advance so we can discuss it in a better way. So you have a better understanding of, of, we, of the topic we are uh, talking about. Okay? Yes? Do you agree? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice. So a relative pronoun, please pay attention and then you will tell me more examples, okay? I mentioned my example, for example, ooh, I went um, to my example, 
besides the Suchi Toto, uh, I went to Chivo Pet, which is a pet hospital, all right? Which is a public hospital, and it's, which is the only one in the country, which is public, right? So this is which. This is when we are adding more information. And that's it. You will give me more examples so we can clarify what our relative pronoun is, all right? Pay attention, guys, and let me know if you can hear, okay? Hello, everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of yes? people you like to hang around with. For example, you're able to listen. All right, good. I like friends who aren't mm. too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. You see, your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like, I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right? So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative. Okay? Um, and, then the, and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they, that disappear. And we changed it to they, uh, to, and we changed it to who, or we changed it to that. Okay, so I like guys who aren't too serious. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. And the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Uh, and that's because we're using a noun to... Uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen and that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear and that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words the statement will state, I like guys, 
that have a good sense of humor or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few. All right, let's stop it for a while, okay? So in this case, we're talking about a relative pronoun when we're talking about a subject. For example, we're joining two ideas, right? You saw the example, I like to meet people, they are sociable, all right? So we had a period, but you also can join it, right? I like to meet people who are sociable. So you actually remove the subject and who, what is a subject, guys, in a sentence? They? Yes, and especially means a subject that, uh, that means that it's a, it's the, the, the person or the thing that we're talking about, all right? So it's the one that makes the action in the sentence. So you're talking about they, all right? Those are the subjects. When we're talking about objects, it's when they receive the, um, the when we're not talking about them as a subject, but we're talking about them or we're referring to them as an object. The object is who receives the action. The subject is who makes the action and the object is who receives the action, right? Got it? So we have two different things. We can talk about uh, adjectives or we can also talk about nouns, uh, I mean verbs. Okay, so that is the example that we were uh, listening to the example. Let's continue. Take a look and, and give me, you have to give me two examples with the subjects, with an adjective and also with the verb. Okay. Be ready. Two examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information. And what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they, and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. Okay. Now, give me the examples, guys. You have an example? Uh, the writer who wrote the book is Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, that that is actually the one sentence, just one sentence, right? So, how do you separate that sentence in two? All right, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Anyone else? Can you repeat, Susana, so we can break it up, uh, break it down that sentence into two, okay? All right, the writer who wrote the book is Spanish. Writer. Yeah, writer. The writer, okay, who wrote, who wrote the book. The book wrote, is Spanish. Remember, guys, the, the W, the W with the with the R, like writer, wrote, written. We don't pronounce that W. It's only basically like an R. Write, wrote, writer, written. All right. All so right, cool. yeah. Mm -hmm. So who wrote the book is Spanish, right? Okay. Yeah. So how 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 can we break down? Thank you guys. Thank you for your participation. Okay, Ever is going to do it later, and then also I have I had another person who raised her hand. Quien me la levantó? I saw another hand raised. Come on, guys. Vaya. Entonces, so the writer. Uh -huh. I got it. <laughs> Tell me. All right. The writer wrote a book. Uh, he's a Spanish. Yeah, good job. The writer wrote the book. He's Spanish. So you just change it, right? The writer who, who wrote the book. All right. 
Mm -hmm. Then you, you change, uh, instead of repeating he again, all right, or mm -hmm. talking about the writer again, so you, you just change it with the who, all right? Nice, you can say who that as well, but it's more specifically when you say who, in this case, to talk about people. Good job, Susana. I sent her up clap, I sent her up a Thank clap, guys. You. Good job, all right. So, Ernest, Ever Ernesto, tell me your example, please. Okay, um, it's not allowed to talk a language in the class, which is Spanish. Okay, it is not allowed to talk about another language, which is Spanish, right? No, it's n it is not allowed allowed to talk allowed a do, language. Do, 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 do. A language. Allowed Ok, no está permitido. Ese es un participio. So you need to pronounce the D at the end. Allowed. Allowed. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Allowed to, to speak. A language. A language. In class. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Which is Spanish. Which is Spanish. So break it down in two. Okay. So, we are not allowed to speak a language, period. Spanish is not permitted to be, uh, or is not allowed to, to talk about, uh, to talk or uh, to use it in class. So, you can remove that in Spanish. You remove Spanish and you just change it to, into, oh, which is Spanish, right? Do it again. Hágalo en dos. Yes, maybe, ya, ya sigue, you are continue. You're the next. We're not to talk about, podría ser así, mira. We're not allowed to, to talk about, to talk another language, or to speak. En este caso sería speak, ¿ok? Speak es porque tenemos la capacidad de hablar más lenguajes. Es más que todo cuando hablamos de lenguajes, we say speak. Talk es más cuando tenemos la conversation. ¿Ok? We're not allowed to speak another language. Punto. Period. The Spanish is not allowed in the class. Ahí lo, lo une de un solo. It's, uh, it's not allowed to speak another language, which is Spanish. Okay? Nice. Maybe. What is your example? My example is, I love babies. They are cheerful. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Babies, ahí sería el subject. But I love babies. Y sigo con they. En lugar de decir they otra vez, ¿cómo lo haríamos con el relative pronoun? I love babies who are cheerful. Yes, good job. Applause as well. Thank you, Ever. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, maybe as well. Anyone else? Todos chicos, come on. I need examples. I need examples. Um, I have an example. Tell me, Jonathan. Um, dogs are pretty. They are okay. loyal. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. They are so loyal. All right. So. I love, uh, no, I lo those are, I love, uh -huh, those, uh-huh. So, about breed animals, I just can say uh, dogs are pretty, they are mm, loyal. Loyal. No, All but, right. but I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that just to try to break down the, the sentences. Exactly. So those are pretty, they are loyal. Okay. Right? Oh, but if you, when you say, okay, I, 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 uh, how, how was the example with the relative pronoun? Um, I love those. I can. I, who are loyal who are, you can uh, say that or i love pretty uh, okay. dogs who are loyal yeah you can say you can say it like that okay okay i like dogs who are loyal uh-huh loyal okay can i can i say 
This is the man who broke my window. Okay, yeah. So, this is the man who broke my window. My window, sorry. Win, win. Window, <laughs> all right? Window. La doble B tampoco es gui como los, como los guanacos, ¿verdad? Que tenemos esa G. La, la W siempre se usa como U, ¿verdad? Como una U. U. Ok. The man who uh, broke my window. Hagámoslo en dos. Let's do it in two. Uh, this is the man. He, he this broke is the, the man. He broke the window. Exactly. So instead of saying again he, you just change it with who and you join one idea in or one, two sentences into one. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Brandy. Nice example, guys. Another. Come on, come on, come on. Lo demás, pues. I found one. Yes, yeah, see? Okay. Abby is my best friend. She's so funny. Okay. Abby is my best friend. She's so funny. So, uh -huh. very easy. ¿Cómo sería entonces ahí? Abby is my best friend. Who is so funny? Who is so funny? Good job. Eh? A good examples. Okay. I have another Carmen. example here. A person who doesn't worry. This is sorry, teacher. A person who doesn't worry. ¿Cómo la tendríamos que a, a qué se refiere, Jamie? Ahí no tiene dos, solo es una oración. Can I raise my hand? Yes, yes. Okay. Carla, Carla Reyes is texting on WhatsApp. She have uh, internet issues, but she will try to connect from the cell phone, she said. Oh, yes. You're Remember, guys? Class. Yeah, yeah, I remember, guys, I still have to join the the, web, the WhatsApp group, but I believe me, I just came like at 7.42, and I had to run, you know, and I actually am not in Suchitoto right now, all right, so it's, I just had to, to teach, and I, I didn't have to, I didn't have time to join the, to watch anything, but just to be with my little dog going to the pharmacies, being in traffic. It was crazy. So uh, I'm sorry, I, I am not able to see uh, those texts. And remember, Brandy, just a, a little comment. Has, she has problems. Remember the third person, okay. right? That's it. All right, thank you for letting me know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello, Raul. We didn't see you yesterday. You had problems with the camera, but Right now we we're able to see you a little bit blurry, but you're able but you were able to to turn on the camera today. That's good. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. My camera is in is uh, uh, very good. Okay, it's it's very good today. It's good today. Nice. Uh, guys, there is a word that I always say camera like Spanish, all right? It's not that Tender. bad, we may, exactly. We can understand each other. However, when we're talking about that word, we don't mention the camera, all right? We just camera. Casi que nos tragamos la E, all right? It's camera, 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 camera. Ese es un schwa. En algún momento se los voy a explicar que es el sonido más común en inglés, okay? No es el sonido de A, sino que es, Casi como que bien cortito. Camera. Vamos, todos repitamos. Camera. 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 Casi como que digamos camera. 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 Ajá. Sin decir la A. Ok. So, now, that is just for you to, to be more fluent and to have a better pronunciation. But it's good to have you with the camera on today, Raúl. Thank you. It's more interactive, guys. Super interactive. All right. Thank you. Is there anybody else who wants to give an example? Come on, guys. It's super fácil. Uh -huh. Miren los más fáciles que me han dicho. Okay. Oh, por ejemplo. Um, my boyfriend lives in San Salvador. He is very handsome. Lo podría decir de dos formas. My boyfriend who lives in El Salvador is very handsome. 
O podría decir, my boyfriend lives in San Salvador. Who is very handsome, pero no tiene mucho. Es mejor de la otra forma. Yes, Jancy. You can say, my boyfriend who is handsome lives in San Salvador. Lives, lives in San Salvador. Lives. Exactly. Lives. Yeah. Exactly. Podría, podríamos ir como intercambiando esa, las ideas, ¿verdad? But good job. Yeah. Así. Tania, you raise your hand. Tell me your example. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. I don't know if I understand, really. Of course, I you try. Will. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> I like rabbits. They are very funny and adorable. All right. Nice. So, um, quitamos el rabbit. En lugar de rabbit, ya no decimos they, sino que le ponemos el who, ¿verdad? O, oh, oh. yeah, who. Tell me. I like rabbit. Uh, who are very yeah. funny and adorable. Exactly. So good job. You see, super easy, thank guys. You. Super. So thank you, Tanya. Nice, guys. Anybody else? Ya, yeah, pues si no, pasamos a otro tema, guys. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es que no sé, teacher. Ya ve, Tanya, usted no estaba segura, pero si usted no, 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 no se asegura que, está, que, que lo está haciendo bien, ¿verdad? No va a participar y no va a saber si lo está diciendo bien. So you did it, uh, you did understood, all right? Sí, lo entendió súper bien. Nice. Ajá, yo no veo más, más manitas levantadas, guys. Vaya, si se fijan, es un, es un tema bastante fácil. It's a very, okay. Ah, ahí está, Jamie. Entonces, my sister is a person who doesn't worry, okay? ¿Cómo haríamos este, guys? Who doesn't worry about anything. Que no se preocupa para nada. A, a, a por nada. Ajá. ¿Cómo haríamos esto? Ayúdenme. Help me. Que parece un, un examen de matemática, right? All right, let's see. Can you repeat that for me, please? She doesn't be worried. She doesn't worry. She doesn't worry. Ajá, pero ahí ya, ya está el who. Ajá. ¿Cómo haríamos eso en dos? How can we do this in two sentences? My sister is a person. Oh, I have a sister. She I mean, I know, I know. It's a person. Yeah, it's someone. It's someone. Ahí sería My mejor. It's someone. someone. It's someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, o oh, podría decir así, mire. She is, she's my sister. She doesn't worry about anything. Oh, ah, my sister is a person who doesn't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. That's better. My sister. Yeah, yeah. Ahí, ahí lo podríamos ir haciendo. She's my sister, period. She doesn't care about anything. ¿Qué es, lo, qué es la diferencia? What's the difference if I say doesn't care? Doesn't care, quien le vale. <ríe> okay. Sí, le vale chonga, decimos nosotros. O le vale, ya saben ustedes. Ok, she doesn't care, o she doesn't mind. Así como que, ah, no le, no le, no le molesta, ¿verdad? No le importa, pero en el sentido de, de como que no le molesta. El no le importa es doesn't care. Ese sí es como más como, me vale ver. All right. So, she doesn't mind, she doesn't worry about anything. Ahí sí, le quitamos el she y le ponemos el who. All right? Good. I want to try my example. Tell me. Vamos a escribirlo para que, para que los demás vean cómo, cómo lo vamos formando. Tell me, Carla. So, um, the two parts would be my son plays stalker. He is very friendly. The Now... Two? Yes, those are the two. My son plays soccer and he is very friendly. Now, with the relative pronoun, I would say my son who is very friendly likes to play soccer. Mm. My son is friendly. Uh, este no. También podría ser, vaya, dígame. Otra oh, vez. At the beginning was my son plays soccer. 
Oh, ok, ok, ok. My then, song, solo es uno, second... Place, yes. ahí le ponemos el place, la S al final, ok. Place yes. soccer. And the second one would be he is very friendly. All right, good job. He so, is very friendly. Yes, mm -hmm. and now with the relative pronoun, I would say my son who is very friendly likes to play soccer. Good job. Si se fijan, también podríamos omitir el, el punto y le ponemos así. Ah, my son plays soccer. He's very friendly. Entonces ahí simplemente le quitamos el en and y le ponemos el who y le quitamos el he porque ya, dijimos, ya, ya estamos hablando de mi hijo. Ya estamos hablando de él, que es el sujeto. Entonces ya no digo otra vez el he. ¿Ok? Nice, super Carla, excellent, good example, good example. Thank you. You're welcome, my pleasure, good. Uh, is there anybody else? Okay, si no, no, si no, pues pasamos a otro tema, guys. I know it's easy. I like, I like people who likes to practice sport. Who like people, who no like. Ajá, acuérdese que solo like. las terceras personas. Ver, people, como es plural. Ok, I like people who like. To practice sports. Mm -hmm. I like people who likes. No, solo like, all right. Puede decir like to like. practice. Like to practice o de otra forma. ¿Cuál era, Brandy? I like people. Who like. Practicing. Exactly. Like podríamos poner eh, practicing. Ajá, podríamos poner el like to practice sin el ing. O así como usted lo dijo, Brandy, o la otra forma también. I like practicing. O who like practicing sports. Ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí, ¿cómo lo, lo, nos quedaría? I like. I like those people. They like to practice or they like practicing sports. Ahí ocupamos, le quitamos el they y ocupamos así como usted lo dijo. Nice. Good example. Ya lleva dos Brandy. Come on, guys. Ya ven por qué le, le, le digo que es mi asistente. Porque ella siempre está participando más. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, good job. Anyways, guys, vamos a continuar. Let's continue, let's continue. Si es bien fácil, pero si se fijan, hay muchas personas que no ocupan el hook. Y se oye bastante profesional, right? You, uh, uh, I like people who use this kind of John, like uh, pronouns or relative pronouns or linking words, ¿verdad? Susana, you have another I have a example. Question. Oh, yeah, you have a question, Carla. Después yes. Susana, ¿ok? Susana, give me a second. Um, I just want to make sure that um, relative pronouns, this is just, just for like to refer to a person or can that be used to refer to an object? Sure, yeah. Just... If we say okay. who, no, no hemos ocupado el, 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 el que, no hemos ocupado el We're... which. Uh -huh. No hemos ocupado oh, el okay. yeah. Y ese es para las, para las cosas. Por ejemplo, uh, I love cell phones. Um, my favorite cell phones or my, self, my favorite cell phones are Samsung or Android. So ahí lo puedo decir. Oh, I like cell phones which are Android. Ahí, oh, okay. yeah, ahí lo podemos decir which o podemos decir that. Acuérdense. El más formal, o sea, el más común es that, para las dos cosas. Si no nos acordamos, pues we, solo decimos that y ya. But if we want to be more specific to talk about people, so we say who. Or to talk about a person, no necesariamente solo en plural o singular, ¿ok? If, uh, what else? Uh, y el which, sí, ¿verdad? También es solo para, para o cosas, objetos, o años, eventos, whatever, cosas cosas, right? Cualquier cosa, no objetos, sino que también eventos, años, etc. Right? Years, events. For example, hmm, 
In 19, le voy, le voy a poner otro ejemplo, nada más. Y terminamos con el which. Pero Susana tiene uno. Tell me, Susana, what, what example do you have? All right, all right. Um, I see a package. It came today. Oh, very good example. Vaya, mm -hmm. ahí está otro, eh. I got a package. Así me dijo. I got a package. Uh, I have I a, package. See a package. I was thinking in the, in the I see a package. Oh, it okay. came today. I see a package. Okay. Yeah. I see, I got, I have, whatever. No, no importa. Cualquier verbo puede ser. Okay. I see a right. package. Yeah. Punto. Puede poner punto o puede poner la coma, right? You can put a comma or you can place a period there. I see package. It came today. Yeah. Ahí le quita el it. Y ahí le pone which, which came yeah. today. Uh -huh. Which came today. El cual vino hoy. Uh -huh. Y puede decir that. Como les dije, ese es el más común para ambos. Okay. We have more examples here in the chat. I like people who like to practice... Um, Uh, ah, el mismo ejemplo. All right, yeah, yeah. Remember, el people es plural, así que ahí sí no le ponemos ese, ¿verdad? Eh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no problem. Uh, that's something that we sometimes forget. Sí, a veces no, le, la, en la tercera persona, sometimes we don't use um, um, the, the third person, but it's when we need to use it, not in plural, all right? For example, I like the examples my students gave me they were students. excellent podemos hacerlo de diferentes formas ahí era okay i like the examples my student gave me aquí le puedo poner el cliquito el we el day de qué estoy hablando the examples the examples entonces Sería that, está bien, pero sería mejor which, 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 which. los ejemplos que los cuales fueron excelentes, ¿ok? Which were excellent. O de otra forma, como dijo Brandy, hagámosla de la otra forma. I like the examples which my students... In this case, we were talking about people, we have to say who. I like the example which my students came. No, porque todavía estamos hablando de los ejemplos. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like example. I like the examples which my students gave me. And they were very, and they were excellent. El which va entonces acá. And I like the ex examples my students. Los ejemplos de, de mis estudiantes o los ejemplos los cuales me dieron mis estudiantes. ¿Sí? Okay. Yes, good examples, guys. Nice. Hoy sí, eh, espero que um, ocupemos, guys, when we're talking about anything, when we're doing any, when we're having any conversation, you can use them, all right? We can use the relative pronoun. No solo de, de gente, de personas, o de cosas, o de objects. Sí tenemos más, por ejemplo, y eso lo van a ver más adelante, obviamente, all right? Tenemos el where, que ese es para referirse a un lugar, ¿ok? Yo sé que ustedes son bien buzos y vamos a hacer así rapidito un, un pequeño repaso de ellos. Tenemos when y where. For example, um, I went to a restaurant. Super fácil. It was really Nice. ¿Cómo lo haremos? I went to a restaurant. Le quitamos Where el was end. really nice. Ajá, ok. Um, aquí sería más quizás... Um, which. Sería which aquí. Ajá, sería más which. But, but déjenme ver otro. It was really nice. Uh, the restaurant I went... The restaurant I went. A veces podemos incluso quitar el, el, el where y no es necesario ponerlo. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo nos quedaría. ¿Qué me hace? I went to a restaurant which was really nice. Oh, no necesario. It was really nice. Which was near 
the beach, por ejemplo. Okay, I went to a restaurant where there was a, where there was a beach. Algo así lo podríamos hacer. Example, uh, another is... example con when. Remember, ese es well, solo I can say, piece. yes. I went to the rest. I uh, went to the restaurant when where you went. Where you went? El que tú fuiste. Yeah, good job. Yeah, tú fuiste ahí. You went there. I I went to the restaurant where you went. Yeah, good job. Okay. The other when when donde de, de cuando so we can say um uh. Civil when. War. Um, was in 1980. I don't remember. 1982, maybe. The Civil War was in 92. Um, when I was. When I was a child. When I was a child. Mm -hmm. When I <laughs> ahí, me, ahí ya me puso usted el, el relative clause. When I was a child. But you can say, uh, the Silver Wall was in 92. I was a child. Ahí nada más. I was a child. Y le solo le pone el punto. Eh, yo era un niño. Yo era una niña. Okay. But this is just for you to remember, guys, that there is not only a rel relative pronoun talking about people or objects, but you can also talk about places or um, times, okay? That's it. Nice. Now, let's continue. Déjenme ver si hay algo más acá. We are running on the time. You have eight minutes. I know, I know, I know, but we have plenty of time, don't worry. So, uh, relative pronouns as an object. Ese es el, ese es el del objects. Ese es el que no hemos, ese es el que me estaba preguntando, um, eh, eh, Creo que, no, Carla, right? Carla, creo que me preguntó. Okay, let's watch this video really quick. When Hello, I was younger... In this was... class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by yes. presenting the structure. This is too long. Si sí, este es super largo y está bien relacionado a lo que acabamos de hacer. All right, so you can watch it together. Uh, we can, you can watch it by yourself at home as well. Okay. Um, así que no, ese se lo dejo de tarea. Vamos a ver. Knowledge check. Vamos a hacer un knowledge check entonces. Let's do this. Susan, ya no, ya no tenía preguntas, Susan. No, no, no. Ah, ok. Lo que okay. pasa es que no, no sé cómo quitar esa cosa de. de, de <laughs> It's ok, no problem, no problem. Ok, guys. Press so, again. Um, yeah, dígale. Sorry. Solo tiene, tiene, así como cuando la levantó la mano, ahí mismo se vaya y la quita. Ajá. Ajá. Right, uh -huh. Try. Oh, ahí está. Okay. There you go. All right. Eh, aquí hasta recibimos clases de computación, chicos. All right. <laughs> o clases de Zoom. All right. Nice. So, guys, ¿por qué tengo todo esto en español? Si ustedes están en, en avanzado, ¿ya? Mire, ve. Ah, that's crazy. Yo creo que le di algo de... de translate or something. Bueno. Yeah, it's something yours, because actually mine, it's in English. I know. That's kind so of you're crazy. you're the only one. I know this is crazy. I'm not sure why I I probably made it by mistake the uh, to 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 make translation and that is not good. Hmm. Is refresh the, the page. Refresh the page. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but let me do it.
Nice. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. All right. I don't know what I did, but yeah. So the people who didn't participate, I would like you to give me the uh, the answers for the knowledge check, okay? So let's do it right now. Remember, guys, today until probably this coming Friday, I'm not sure yet. Todavía no sé cuándo es que vamos a tener la clase de ayer. But um, we need to cover two sections, solo la uno y la dos. Así que we have plenty of time, all right? Para que practiquemos, si no, de repente ya se les olvidan las cosas. After certain topics, you forget everything. Vamos a preguntarle a Elizabeth. She didn't participate. The number one. And instructions. Everybody repeat. Select the best clause that matches the statement. Come on. Select the best clause. Select the best option that matches the statement. All right. The matches the statement. Escuche por allá. This. The statements. Aquí, acuérdense que no hay otra E. Por lo tanto, no decimos the statement. ¿Verdad? Just this statement. Select the best clause. All right. Nice. Tell me, uh, Elizabeth, number one. I don't want to have a partner. Um... Uh -huh. What would be the best option there? I have nothing. <laughs> um, let's, let's, be, let's. I, should, uh -huh. I thought there was I don't feel comfortable around people. Mm, I don't feel comfortable about these people, okay? That's the one for you? Nice. I uh, see, Yancy, you you raised your hand as well. Tell me. It, it is not the, the correct. Um, I have not nothing. The correct is... one. Ya, uh, ya lo vamos a ver. Permítame, Brandy. Estamos okay. testeando ahí con, con cuál, con cuál vea, con cuál sería mejor. Which is the ma the best matches? ¿Cuál es la que mejor se relaciona, verdad? Con la que mejor eh, pareamos, digamos, la respuesta, verdad? Okay. But, vamos a ver qué nos dice Jancy. Okay, tell me. I have nothing in common with this person. Oh, one. so you think it's, this is the one. No, sorry. Number one, I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. So, ¿cómo, se, cómo nos quedaría, guys? I don't want to have a partner who... Mm -hmm. Who have... Who has who nothing in common? Have. Who, ahí sería, ahí sería, yeah, who, who I don't have, or who I don't have, uh -huh, or who I have nothing in common with, nada más, hasta ahí, sin, sin el this person. Con quien no tengo nada en común, ¿sí? Ya no le ponemos a this person y solo nos quedaría así. I don't want to have any, to, to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. That's it. Okay, así, se, así quedaría okay. uniéndola. Okay, Jancy, good job. Eh, Jans, eh, Jamie, vaya, si yo les iba a decir a los que no me habían participado, pero ya que me levantó la mano, dele, dele, go ahead. Tell me the number two, okay? The number two is... Um, the people. I read everything. I lea lo para que se le, ah, se le dé sorry, más, 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 más relación. Huh? Más. I like to meet people. Mm -hmm. uh, these people have a good sense of humor. 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 All right. Humor. Good job. Vaya, mañana lo vamos a terminar. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esto entonces? A uh, alguien que me ayude. Uh -huh. Usando relative pronoun, right? I like to meet people who, who, uh, who have a good sense of humor. We don't repeat people again. Vea, ahí simplemente quitamos el mismo sujeto and we just combine the two sentences using who. Guys, I have another class coming at exactly 9 p.m. So we'll co continue tomorrow. Si ustedes lo quieren hacer, go ahead. You're free to do it. But we will discuss it tomorrow. 
uh, to do like the uh, the, um, the relative uh, the relative pronoun exercise okay Please do it by yourself, but we're going to check it tomorrow. Eso está bien fácil. Miren, si usted se equivoca, simplemente, ah, no fue aquí, no fue esta, entonces la cambio. ¿Ok? Eso es fácil. Algunas cuando... Show me the cuando... last one. <laughs> Mañana. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. Uh, to... Today we have had enough uh, practice. Ya practicamos un montón. Por lo tanto, yo sé que ya son expertos. Your practice. Uh, you're more than expert with this. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I have another class. So bye bye. Have a good day. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye. Rest. Por favor, pídanle por mi perrito. Adiosito. <laughs> bye. bye, guys. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Bye bye. And for all. <laughs>